Well, turning to weather tonight at 617, the cool is going to continue. Even though it's a beautiful shot there, yeah. it feels yeah. like it's warm, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. Tomorrow's kind of it the pick like day, though, right? It is the pick of the week. Um, even after the cold start tomorrow, we're forecasting mid-60s tomorrow well, afternoon. So all, right? Almost a 30-degree jump from start to finish. We'll take right? it. So, <laughs> something to look forward to. We've been looking forward to some fall color, and we're finally starting to see it. You can see some reds and oranges from our Brown County Leaf Cam. Temperatures across central Indiana today with the clouds really struggled. Morning sunshine, afternoon clouds, but now we're starting to see those clouds move out. And some great views all across central Indiana from our camera at Lucas Oil Stadium to clearing skies in Westfield and Plainfield. Sharpsville, too, also clear, but still breezy. You can see the, the flag at Morse Reservoir. Temperatures today in the 50s, but we had wind gusts. 25 to 35 miles per hour that made it feel colder most of the day. A wind gust of 33 in Greensburg, 34 in Muncie, and a wind gust of 27 in Indianapolis and Connersville. Winds will diminish through the overnight hours. Still kind of breezy west-southwest at 18. We have 55 degrees right now. 58 year high, our low this morning, 47. We're getting close to sunset. It's now before 7 p.m., 656 this evening. By the way, with the clear skies and the cool air in place, Forecasting temperatures about 10 colder than what we had this morning out the door tomorrow morning. You'll need the sweatshirt or the jacket first thing. 35 by 8 a.m. You probably can get rid of it by midday. A noon temperature of 57 and highs tomorrow in the low to mid 60s. So a nice rebound on the way after that cool start. 64 in Indianapolis and Shelbyville. Bloomington too tomorrow. 65 degrees in Columbus. Lots of sunshine in the Wednesday forecast. Then we track a couple of changes toward the end of the seven-day outlook. One will move our way on Thursday. More clouds, maybe a stray shower. Best chance would be Thursday night into early Friday. And right now it looks like the best chance would be across the southern half of the state. That moves out for Friday night. Good news for high school football. The bad news still a little up in the air on the weekend outlook. Some analysis saying dry. Other analysis data indicating a storm system for Saturday night into Sunday. We will include rain for Sunday now, but stay tuned for some updates. 64 with sunshine tomorrow. A few showers around. More clouds and sunshine Thursday. 60, 55 degrees on Friday. Morning showers, and it will be a cooler day. Cool start to the weekend. And again, stick with us. We'll keep you posted on those rain chances this weekend. All in all, more 60s than anything else in the seven-day forecast.